Peace can be found in the strangest of places. When this year began, just before I was leaving Wisconsin for Los Angeles, my wife and I took our three cats to the vet for a checkup. The younger two were fine, but our oldest, Roxy, was diagnosed with mid-stage kidney failure. There is no cure for this, just palliative care. With a heavy heart, I still left for Los Angeles because my acting career was taking off and I had a lead role in a film that was going to shoot in April. I had to go. I left knowing there was a very good chance I would never see Roxy again. Yes, I cried leaving that morning. And then a global pandemic happened, and here I am back in Wisconsin. Roxy was thrilled to see me and immediately began sleeping on the pillow above my head. She didn't move around much. She's 17, but she was so happy to be wherever I was. A few months later, she moved downstairs and began living on my desk. And soon after that, it was my chair or my lap. She's in my lap as I speak. I have a chair with pillows set up next to my work chair because she gets annoyed that I get up so much. This way, she can still be next to me and be comfy. Her water and her food are on a little table I set up next to the desk. This is where she lives. And through all of this, I found a most surprising and beautiful form of peace. It's actually been easy to let go of all the things that were supposed to happen this year because this little cat needs me as she fades. And I'm here. Every day I have with her is a blessing. And I'm reminded how many people don't have the same opportunity that their loved ones have faded and died alone. So in spite of how hellish 2020 has been, I've been granted a very beautiful form of peace as I pet her, scratch her, clean up after her, make sure she eats, basically take care of her. And I tell her how much I love her each and every day. I don't know how much longer I'll have with her, but I do know that she's given me a kind of peace I could have never imagined. The peace that is found when you're in service to someone else. And that's not nothing. I hope you can find your sliver of peace in these most trying of times. Say hi, Roxy.